Hello, and welcome to the San Jose State University Instructional Design Tutorials. Today we will be exploring how to use the gradebook in Canvas for your Canvas course. To start off, make sure you are logged into Canvas. First, open up your course page. Then, on your course's homepage, click on the left-hand side menu, the button labeled Grades. You can check submission details by clicking the top right triangle on each graded item in your gradebook. On this panel, you will see a more detailed view of the specific submission. Click on the X to exit out of the panel. For each assignment, you can access a drop-down menu by clicking on the button located on the bottom right-hand side of the column label. Assignment details will give you a detailed description of the assignment along with data about submissions and more. Message Students Who allows you to send a Canvas email message to all students who meet a certain condition. You can choose to email students who haven't submitted yet, haven't been graded, or scored more or less than a specific score. Set Default Grade lets you assign a grade to all students for a specific assignment. You can also choose to override any grade that you have already assigned to students. Curve Grades allows you to curve the grade of a specific assignment based on an average score you give the program. Be aware, this action is not reversible and while you can see grades before the curve, you will have to manually regrade or change the scores of the assignment if you wish to revert the curve. Mute and unmute assignment lets you prevent students from seeing the scores of their assignments or any other details. This is good for letting all the students see their scores at the same time. SpeedGrader will be covered in another video. Link will be in the description below. Click on the bottom left corner of the column to sort the grades by that specific column. On the top right of the page, there is a drop-down labeled with a gear icon. Click on this. Gradebook History allows you to see all of the grade changes or grade assignments that have been made. You can filter by student, grader, assignment name, or start and end dates. Return to grades. You can choose to hide student names. You can change the column arrangement by points, due dates, or by assignment groups. You can automatically set all ungraded assignments to zero points. This can be toggled. You can also toggle showing students who have already taken the class or are inactive by selecting show concluded enrollments and show inactive enrollments, respectively. You can also toggle a notes column. You can export the gradebook as a CSV file, which can be opened in spreadsheet software such as Excel or Google Sheets. You can also import a grade sheet from a CSV file. The link to CSV specific formatting rules is listed in the description below. 
Congratulations, you know how the layout and basic function of a gradebook in Canvas works. For more information on this and other tutorials, please check out the link in the description below. Thank you for listening and have a great day.